you guys. Okay, hopefully you can see me in this light and hopefully you can hear me and everything. I'm realizing I'm shaking my desk and I'm really trying not to. Found my tripod. It was in the car. Forgot it in the car. So hopefully this works and hopefully the lighting is not awful. I guess I'll see you when I edit this. Um, I just wanted to pop in and do a little video because I just want to give you guys more. I've been saying that so uh, here I am and I'm going to try and just do uh, whatever I can. I'm going to be honest with you, it's been a little bit of a crazy week. It's been a really crazy week and a really crazy weekend. We were in the city today, um, we had to try and fit in a whole bunch of stuff. I ran into Costco really quick because I just feel like we don't have any time to grocery shop. Oh, so I ran in there, Kenzie and I did, and we picked up like a bag full of groceries and ran home. I also had to go pick out an outfit. Like I had to buy dress, a dress and shoes and stuff because I have a funeral to go to on Monday, which is very sad. And this is what I was talking about in my last video a little bit, how I dropped everything and went and helped a friend. Um, I feel like it's okay. I can mention this now because they have uh, released the information and everything like that. So it's just like my, you know, my best friend, my childhood friend, um, her grandfather passed away this week. And that's really hard. They're really, really close family. I'm honored to have been invited to celebrate his life with them. Um, and I'm just trying to be the best friend I can in this situation. I'm just trying to support her in any way I can, help their family in any way I can. And so I'm just kind of, um, yeah, it's just, it's just been a, like a really weird, very busy week. So that's what's going on. Um, yeah, I'll try and vlog this weekend. I'm a little bit like, it's it's a weird situation when, like, this isn't my family, but it's still this terrible loss, you know, because I did grow up around around these people. So it's um, very sad, and I'm trying to keep my headspace good through the weekend and going up to it so that I can like emotionally prepare myself because I know it's going to be like a super super emotional day and then just the energy is going to be really something I'm not used to it's going to be quite overwhelming so I'm just trying to plan some happy fun things around it for myself to keep you know my own heart in check um and also just trying to like generally life around it, you know. <laughs> it's just been a particularly busy week in our schedule and then with um, everything happening this week, it's just a little bit nuts. So I thought I would sit down, I'm just trying to relax. Cody is at um, a game night with a friend because one of the games he plays, his buddy is taking off on a, a Europe trip. So <laughs> they had to get, squeeze a game night in. Um, the kids just went to sleep so late. They were a lot today. I had to go shopping in the mall last minute and try and find a dress because I didn't have anything black. And well, I technically did have anything black, but one black dress was too casual and one black dress just wasn't appropriate for a funeral. So I had to go buy another dress, which thankfully I found and I had to buy shoes because I don't have black shoes. What the heck? How do I not have black heels? Um, so I found a really cute pair. I'll show you guys what I'm wearing late, like later this weekend. Not that that matters, but I'm just trying to like keep positive things around it, you know? Maybe. I don't know. But I don't know if Grayson could like feel the mood. I don't know if he's just been cooped up or we've been too busy or he just was not wanting to be at the mall today, but he was intense. Well, I was trying to shop for a dress and in the changing rooms and like in and out of stores. Oh man. Shopping with your kids for clothes is really difficult, especially when you have to try and clothes, so. But you all know that. If you're a parent, you know this. It's crazy. I also feel like I'm in desperate need for some sleep catch up, but I also, like after this, it's 9.47 right now. I really just want to sit down and watch a movie. I'm going to a movie with a girlfriend on Sunday night. And we're gonna go see uh, The Shape of Water, is that what it's called? But I realized that I haven't watched um, one of his other movies, which is Crimson Peak? 
Is that what it's called? Um, I wanted to watch that tonight with a nice cup of tea and some fancy cookies I bought myself. <laughs> because it's been a week for fancy cookies. Um, so it's like that balance. I feel like I need to catch up on sleep, but I feel like I need some me time and just settle time. So I feel like I'm kind of sacrificing some sleep for some me time, which is fine because it's the weekend and I could probably catch a nap in tomorrow. So I feel, I don't feel as bad staying up till midnight if I can, you know, maybe catch a little nap, maybe, maybe, maybe. <laughs> Speaking of movies though, I just put this in my journal because sometimes like you guys who know my journal, I, I kind of do like a doodle journal, but sometimes it's a little bit like bullet journaly, uh, if you know what that is. So I just put like this movies to watch thing in there. That's what I've been doing tonight while I've been watching YouTube videos. It's so cute. Just little popcorns and I fill in all the movies and then once I've watched them, I'm going to color them in. It's a fun way to keep track of things. I like my journal and I like having something that pops out and makes it interesting. So mm. that is what I'm just working on now. My dog is whining at me and I don't know why. I think she doesn't know where Cody is and is bothering her. So that's kind of just a little rundown. I'm sorry this light is shaking. Every time I touch my desk, it shakes. I got this new lamp and I absolutely love it, but it doesn't like sitting in this position apparently that I have it in. Um, but yeah, it's just like a little rundown of what's been kind of happening around here a little bit. I guess my life motto right now is just to take it slow and little by little is like what I'm trying to do. I'm just trying to go easy. Like I'm just trying to not make everything a big deal. I'm trying to take a lot of time to just slow down in between the craziness and relax. My friend shared something with me the other day and I'm my brain is just spacing on it but it was something along the lines of just like slowing down and like learning to be slow but it was like better. Amanda, you're who I'm talking about. Um, tell me what that quote was again, or maybe I'll ask you after this so I can share it because I really, it really resonated with me because it's something I try to do is I try to slow down, but it's so much more than just being slow. I just keep saying slow and this could be a drinking game by now. <laughs> um, but I'm just trying to like take the little moments in between busyness just to go easy, you know, to like not stress about stuff and to just try and appreciate all of the little movements and moments that create the day, if that makes any sense at all. So for this, for example, this weekend, could potentially be a very stressful weekend and leading up to next week. But I'm just trying to do things like I've got a movie night with the family planned. Monday night when I get home, we're gonna watch a new movie that we really wanna watch. We're gonna um, just like chill out and have a really happy family evening when I get home. And I'm gonna go to another, apparently this is just a movie weekend. I'm gonna go to another movie the night before. So I've kind of cushioned that day. Um, we've just got little things happening and I'm just trying to like take the moments in between journaling Taking a second to do a video before I go watch something and make myself a tea just things like that And I think it's really helping and I think it just makes things go smoother and it makes me emotionally um, What's the word I guess it's just allowing me to take in all the feelings take in all of the things that are happening and actually process them and let them out and just like relax it and not stress about it and just see it for what it is and, and let it be. So that's helping. I'm actually like pretty calm, but I'm trying to put myself in a place where I can help calm other people as well. I guess that's a better way to explain kind of what I mean by all the like stress or whatever. Also, um, I know Easter is coming up for the majority of people. Uh, we don't personally celebrate Easter. Just, we don't. Um, we celebrate the spring equinox instead, which is on Tuesday. So I'm trying really hard to get the kids little like equinox, equinox Easter baskets already. Um, 
like little springtime baskets and I'm trying to like plan the day but I'm like where do I have time to plan this day because I, I like to make holidays really special I like to try and I had these big plans of making all these homeschool lessons leading up and this week has just been so busy that we really had like an unschooly week we kind of had to take the structure lessons out of this week just because it did not fit into our life um, which was fine it's kind of why we homeschool it's, it's a beautiful part of that we get to do that so I think I'm just gonna have to like you know what it's fine I can just put those lessons into next week and we can just learn about it for the week it doesn't have to be before the actual day I'm just doing my best but instead of stressing about it I'm just being slow and being like it's fine it's all right if it doesn't all go to plan I'm not gonna have a plan I'm just gonna do little things and it's all gonna work out that's what's happening this week with me yeah I don't really have anything spectacular to say today I sat down because I was kind of in the mood to do a video and then it's turned out to be a little bit of a downer and I apologize for that I didn't um, turn on my camera anticipating that it would, would it would be a little bit of a bluer tone to this video but you know what such is life life is not always rainbows and sunshine <laughs> So, um, and I really want to go back to sharing the real authentic bits of my life because that is the whole point of this channel. That's why I made it. This is like an, another extension of journaling. It's just like another expression. And I think I got caught up in um, trying to find the balance of keeping safety and privacy um, at the forefront. And then it, it just got a little muddy about how much to share and how personal to be with you. I'm figuring it out. I like sharing a lot with you guys. I like being personal with you. I like telling you what's actually happening and, and being real with you. So I will do those homeschool videos. I have it all planned out, by the way, um, for those who follow me on Instagram. Sometimes on the stories, we'll talk about what videos to do. I have some homeschool videos planned out and ready to go. Um, so as soon as this week kind of settles down, I'm going to get into filming that. I think this weekend I'm definitely going to film, but I'm going to keep it easy. Uh, I'll film obviously like around the funeral. I'm definitely not going to even entertain the idea of filming at the funeral at all. Like that's no, that's not even something I've talked about. That's so inappropriate. Um, but I will like show you what I'm wearing and, and show you the things that I'm doing around and around that time. And I'm sure I'll have more thoughts and feelings to share with you then. But I'm going to go watch... What did I say I was going to watch? Crimson Peaks? Peak? Peaks? I don't know. I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I'm going to have some of my special cookies. Because Costco has this box of cookies with all this pretty floral on it. And it's gorgeous. And I've been eyeing it for a couple weeks. And I finally bought it <laughs> today. I was shopping with just Mackenzie. And she was like, Mom, we should buy that. And I was like, you know what? You're right, we should buy that. Um, that is one, this happens very rarely with me, that the packaging really makes me buy something. So that was good marketing. I just love the watercolor floral all over the box, so I bought it. But also cookies. That's probably the main reason I bought it. Anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you go. I'm trying I, to not edit this too much so I can put it up. And I'm going to go make a tea. And watch this movie and I hope you guys are all having a great or all had a great week and I hope you all have a really really good weekend I love you guys I'll see you hopefully tomorrow hopefully I'll see you tomorrow bye